What's going on? You're in the Beat Sessions. I'm your host, Mitchell Weary. It's Friday, March 17th. Happy St. Patrick's Day to all of you. Hope you've had an outstanding week and that you have some fun stuff lined up for tonight. Remember to be respectful to one another and definitely be respectful to your bartenders. Tip them well. Don't drink and drive. And let's just have a solid weekend all around. There's some great stuff that dropped today, some interesting stuff that we're excited to talk about here at the Beat Sessions. But before we get into any of that, Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Share this video once it's finished, if you feel so inclined to do so. And that like button, go ahead and give that a little boop. Keith, MB Lee, and I, we all appreciate you doing any and all of those things. Helps us grow the channel. It would seem that with you two having a new album out on St. Patrick's Day on a Friday, that they would be the lead off, but definitely kind of cliche. And also, it's a big project. It's 40 songs. It's a lot of music to listen to. And it's all music that they've put out. They're just songs that have been reimagined. All songs that you've heard. If you've listened to U2 before, if you're a fan, I think you'll dig the project. If you're not a fan, I think there's this element of self-indulgence with it that is so typical of Bono that <laughs> it might just even exacerbate that anymore. So we're not going to lead off with that. We're going to jump next door and we're going to talk about Sleaford Mods. This band is outstanding. This new record, UK Grimm is absolutely outstanding. If you're not familiar with these guys, gotta climb aboard. They put this record out on March 10th. It is their 12th studio album and their follow-up to 2021's Spare Ribs. That was the record that got me into these guys, the record that that I found that, that led me to discover them. And as we grow older and discover music, there's bands that, that we like and there's bands that you know we like a little more, but then there's those bands that have that impact on us that, you know, it's rare that that comes along. I feel like the last time I felt that with a new band was the Black Angels when I discovered them. So Sleaford Mods, what they're doing, so unique. And and their style is just, it's so raw. It's so gritty. It's so in your face. And I love that about this band. A lot of, uh, a lot of politics as far as, you know, influence in music in the last few years, given everything that's going on. And so you have, you know, you have some artists that, I'll just call them tourists. I feel like that they chose to have moments where they dabbled. And this is not an outfit of tourists. Andrew Fern and Jason Williamson just bring it. They bring the thunder, unlike any other act out there. You know, if Rage Against the Machine decided to get back together and, you know, start making new music, they might match what these guys are doing. But I don't think there's anybody that comes close to these cats. Jason Williamson, he is quick-witted and vociferous and just damn right funny and insightful and might be one of the coolest lyricists out there today. He's got this excellent recitative style, but the rhythm and the flow of his rhyme schemes are, it's just, it's remarkable what he does. It's, it is so unique and so unlike anything out there. And I mean, you think of, you think of those, the, the timing structure of some, and he, I think of someone like Biggie Smalls. I think of some of these the the best hip hop artists that have ever existed and what they're doing as far as the patterns that are there with the words and the syllables and this man is just downright good at what he does he is just phenomenal to listen to and his criticism is is not it's not biased it is full forced in your face uh, objective as to what he's seeing going on, Focus, focusing, you know, on, on UK politics predominantly, but he's not afraid to discuss anything in the world. And obviously what's going on in the UK, I'm sure there's a lot there that's relevant to what is going on in the rest of the world. So I just dig that he, he's not, you know, passively taking one side and, and camping out in a, in a political party, like some of these other artists have done as well. I think that's really important. I think that if you're going to be objective, if you're going to, you know, a lot of folk artists, I feel like, are, uh, are guilty of this recently, but it's important to be objective. It's important not to alienate your audience. And I think that Jason, he has, uh, he just has this, this anger, this intensity in his tone, in his words, and what he's trying to say that captures so much of what I think so many people are feeling. And that's what really makes this cat brilliant. Andrew, his counterpart, as far as the music and the production, I don't think there's anybody out there that does as much as this guy can with so little. You know, looking at you 2 in an outfit there that you think of a guy like The Edge and using very little to fill space. And you know, you listen to you listen to what Andrew puts together and it's just like, oh, here's a shitty beat and I'm just gonna tap on the table. Jason, go to work. And and they make a banger. I mean, it, like it's they you listen to the production on these tracks and it's so austere and it's just downright 
rough and and gritty and raw oftentimes and as it should be because you know the intensity of the tracks and what jason's bringing to it should match that but it's just incredible the way that these tracks build the way they work within this minimalism and it's just so unique in the different just sounds and elements that you know one might think nothing of just tapping on a wall but let Andrew hear that and it's game on. And I love that about the man. This is a, this is a really cool band that I think is pushing the edge of music in so many ways that so many bands try to. Oftentimes it feels forced. And I think that's the cool thing about both of these guys is that everything, this, this project feels so authentic and it's so prolific too. 12 albums in 16, in 16 years, you know, there's a lot going on in the world and these guys have a lot to say about it and it's great that they stay on top of that you know keeping people caught up on on current events giving them insight into those things but also you know doing it in a way that they can like bob their head and, and cruise along in their car and, and that's a good thing i think that i think it's important to you know to balance that that dynamic I, it's what i love about rage against the machine you know zach is is ferocious but you know the the music that that band puts together and you know i think of brad on the drums especially they're they're just so jazz driven and tim on the bass great counterpart there that rhythm section adds so much to what is going on with tom and zach and what they bring to the table at the front of that outfit so sleaford mods if you haven't checked these guys out throw this record on listen to all their stuff uk grim the title track is going to open this thing up such a diverse range of music on this thing heavy pulsating synths on this thing that's a, a big element that you're going to get for the most part pretty raw simple beats as well uh sets a dark tone and i really like the way that when the beat hits the uh the synth is like got this like it, it alters a little bit and then it settles into this groove and you talk about the way that those little components can come together real quick and then there's this guitar that's working and you talk about that minimalism and you get a lot on this uh on this particular record there's moments where like a piano just might work in uh and just a couple of tracks even that that feel kind of out of their wheelhouse they just feel like a full-on composition with all the elements there and so it, like i love that about this outfit as well you get hip-hop you get mod music you get punk you get industrial you, I and mean, there's so many different elements at work here seamlessly as well it's, it's just another another stroke of their brilliance diy <laughs> i love this di and then why this is a i love the tr love the title of the track thick drum beat reminds me of the death tones the tone of the uh, the way that this thing opens up in the mood and then the the rest of the beat works in this thing is freaking fire and there's a lot on this record that's reminding me of early beastie boys too that austerity is uh is really just so much fun and it's on play here brilliantly cool guitar bit and that song the piano's fire as well one of my favorites for sure force 10 from navarone is your third song hits with that groovy electro funk feel it's um uh, I got a vocal uh, appearance from Florence Shaw, and she's just incredible on this track as well. Great little, uh, great little duet, duet there, and then uh, a bit of surf rock at work on this song. It's a, a nice change of pace. Till Dipper, your fourth track, uh, just so such a variety of music. Got this frenzied punk energy uh, with this track, and uh, I, like I just I really like the way that this thing is moving along up to this point with that song. The intensity there hits next with on the ground, which is a um. This is, I, I think this might be like the most approachable song on the album for given their style and what they do. Um, this is, you know, as much as I would encourage everybody to listen to this outfit, they're not the type of outfit that I would expect everybody to just like immediately be drawn into. They're a little quirky. They're a little odd and they're really intense. But On the Ground definitely has this kind of like bright poppy synth there's uh the percussion hits and this track develops this like funky synth groove and it's uh, like i love the guitar that works in on this track as well it's a really cool song right wing beast is your six track tapping fully into that mod side on this song I, I like i really love that garage rock the mod rock element when they choose to work with it simple bass groove on this song andrew just puts together some of the best bass riffs i absolutely love it the drums and guitar uh dig that the second guitar that works in on this thing is pretty cool uh, if you're familiar with the band small faces this is a song Song that really uh, reminded me of them smash each other up is your seventh track thick electro beat on this song got simple synth super minimal beastie boys again was uh, what came to mind there and i really like the unique uh, synth element that works in on this song it's very soothing it's very cathartic um you know given that 
most of what they do is extremely intense. This element in this song was was really unique. I dug the uh, I dug that. Dawn is your eighth track. Um, shitty sounding electro beat. And that's what I'm talking about. It's just, I mean, Andrew can do anything with nothing. It's just incredible. The man's brilliant. Uh, simple element sounds um, and that that work in the uh, the piano. Uh, on this thing. It sounds like it's in an empty room. I just love the echo and this thing at work. Um, and then uh, you get this like thick, quirky sounding bass that works in that replaces uh, that element. It's a cool song. I dig that one as well. So Trendy is your ninth track. Electro reggae funk, if that makes any sense. Feeling it in the percussion really is where, I, uh, is where I'm getting that vibe from. But I like the way that this picks up the pace um, from the album a little bit coming off of dawn and it's uh, just a completely different feel uh, towards the uh, towards the end of the track that that kind of like takes on a punk vibe as well it's a cool dynamic in that I Claudius your 10th song mellow vibe it's got this lounge feel uh, that's really cool kind of pulling back again pit to pit is your 11th track great bass riff again on this thing just riding that punk feel like the minimal guitar minimal guitars excuse me they're uh, they're just perfect on this song. Really, just a nice example of of Andrew working that in. Apart from you, your twelfth song, groovy bass on this song as well. Back to that like kind of lounge feel, mellow. There's a bit of that ska reggae vibe, feeling that in the percussion once again. Piano is killer on this song as well. Got the Tory Kong as your penultimate track, throwing in some some world percussion on this. Um, Andrew's uh, working with what sounds like electric congas, basically. Got this reggaeton vibe. It's really cool. And then Rhythms of Class is probably my favorite song on this thing. I really dig this album closer. Back to that Beastie Boys feel. Got this like 80s pop new wave feel, little disco in the guitar. This this track is unique. It, it feels a little fuller than than most of the stuff that this band is accustomed to doing. So I, I dig the... Uh, I mean, call it kind of experimental for them, nature of the track, if you will. This is such a fat vinyl, please. Uh, everything that they do is amazing. If you haven't checked them out, like I said, please do. Um, I hope I, I hope you agree. Like, I, I hope that you all enjoy these guys. I know that, uh, again, they're not going to be everybody's cup of tea, but I just think that they're so unique and there's no one out there like them pushing the envelope the way that they do. So hope you find this review helpful. Thanks for tuning into the Beat Sessions. Stay tuned throughout the week for more album reviews. We will see you next time.